Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will make a short tutorial for those of you who want to test out a new ROM but don't want to lose all their current data and ROM settings. So if you won't like the ROM that you're going to be testing out, you can be a click away from getting your old settings back. Now let's clear this out. By all settings, I'm not saying about a reinstalling script of all the apps without the data like a new fresh reinstallation process. I'm talking about a full restore process. That means everything, every little setting will be back untouched as it was before. How can that be possible? Well, this is called Nandroid Backup. Let's get right into it. In TWRP you have a backup tab, press it. There you'll see all your partitions like data, system, cache and so on and so forth. Tick all of them, especially the EFS folder. EFS folder is very important to have a backup of because it contains IMEI information. A lot of people broke their IMEI number during installation failures and the phone got useless. So by having an AFC backup, you are able to restore it back without a miss when you'll need to. So after you ticked all the partitions, it's time to select the storage where you want your backup to be stored. Internal storage has a high speed transferring rate, so it will be done in a couple of minutes, but there's always a but here. Internal storage is not always safe to place backups on, if you don't know what you're doing afterwards because it can be erased sometimes, and if you're not careful then you will be screwed because your backup will be vanished. So if you decide to go with internal storage then swipe to backup. It is safe that after you backup, go back and mount your device via an USB cable and copy the TWRP folder from your internal storage to your personal computer to be 100% safe. You can also make a backup on your external SD card if you have one, but it will take more time to store a backup. Anyways, let's pretend you're about to install a new ROM. After you made this backup, you'll have to wipe before flashing a new ROM, so go into wipe section and swipe to wipe. Then go back and click install and install the ROM. If you want to learn more on how to install a custom ROM, click the link in the card section. After you play a little bit with it, you realize it's not what you want. Then go back into recovery, wipe again and then go into restore tab. Select the storage where you had your backup placed and select it. Then swipe to restore and after the process is completed, you're back on your previous configuration untouched. Reboot and voila. That was it for today, I hope my tutorial helped you in order to having a full backup before flashing any other ROMs. If I did, make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe around my channel. As always, thank you for watching, until next time, take care. Wicked is out, bye bye.